Okay, guys, so this girl's name is Kat, and she also has a husband that she wants to expose. I don't know if you've seen, but there's like a trend on TikTok where everybody wants to like expose their husband's mistresses. So we got another one. Look at this. 900,000 likes. 11 million views. So you know what to do. Get your tea and get your snacks. Because you already know. This is about to be good. <laughs> the ugly, the faces is so fucking funny, bro. If you want to listen by yourself, you can go here. The rest of us, you're with me. Listen to this story. Okay, so she said, I heard we were exposing our husband's mistresses. I low-key hate this trend for the pure fact of like putting down other women for how they look. You should be mad at him. But let's see her. My mother, my... Your mother, your... Wow. How did this happen? Where, where is the loyalty? Where is the loyalty? Jesus. I know, I know. I did not die for this. And and what the hell is that? Are those monkey babies? Guys, these story times are coming in way too hot. Where's where's the lube? Put the story in slowly. God, I have questions. The way my jaw just dropped on the floor. A hundred thousand likes, bro. You everyone on Facebook and YouTube were watching us. We all did. We all we all did. Me wanting to do this trend, but not knowing which mistress to pick because it was basically every girl in the city. 20,000 likes. Oh my, a lot of people relate to that. <laughs> yeah, a lot of y'all relate to this one, huh? Girl, mine cheated on me with my sister, then married her and had twins with... <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Is nobody gonna talk about the dolls behind on the bed? No, I, we saw them. We saw them. We just, we got questions and we're looking for answers. Guys, I will make sure that shit gets answered. We gonna find out. And guys, thank God, because she gave us a story time. We need to know, Kat. Call me crazy if you want, but I've never liked store-bought pesto. Damn, Susie, that is crazy. But not as crazy as the time I found out that my husband was having an affair with my mother while I was also dealing with severe postpartum depression after giving birth to twins when I was only 29 weeks pregnant. Their affair lasted roughly four months before I finally definitively caught them red-handed. And the story of how I found out, that needs its own video. But when I did confirm that the affair was happening, I left immediately with my children. And the day, the night that I left with my daughters, my mother moved into my house with my husband. Jesus. I know. I know. This level of betrayal is insane. I would need mad therapy after this. I'm so sorry, Kat. What does the family think? The whole family has to see this. Where's your dad? And they continued to play house until I served my husband with divorce papers that also stated I would be filing for 100% custody of our children. During this time, my husband and my mother were conspiring about how they can go about getting married. Married. And therefore, having my mother be my children's stepmom. Stepmom. And having my children be my stepsisters. But alas, my husband got tired of her too. So he dumped her, kicked her out of the house, and she went crawling back to my dad who welcomed her with open arms. What? So to this day, my parents act like the affair never happened. And in their words, the affair never would have happened if Catherine wasn't such a horrible daughter and horrible wife. I haven't spoken to them in almost two years now. Yup. But uh, yeah, Susie, putting extra garlic in your pesto is just like... Pfft. Okay, first off, your dad is a simp for even <laughs> taking her back. That is insane. Your dad is also a word that I don't have. A person that watches their wife, ex-wife, fuck their daughter's husband <laughs> and thought that was like, okay, and then blames you? Wow! That's extreme gaslighting and he's delusional, which is like... I, I I don't know what to say. Like, either he just, he can't get no other woman in his life, so he's just desperate to get her back, and just, <laughs> I don't know what to say about this. And your mom moved in with him? <laughs> you, can't, you can't make this shit up, bro. That's not even that. Like, guys, I'm telling you right now. This, <laughs> this is not real. It's not real. 
This story alone would send me to the psychiatrist because I would be spiraling. Bro, I... It would... 16,000 likes. My mouth was already like... But when you said your dad took her back, my jaw hit the... Bro, what? What? Beta! I'm, so, I'm sorry, bro. But what the fuck? This would break me. I'm sorry. Bro, wow. The audacity on them to blame you afterwards. I, oh, my God. I'm so sorry, cat. Okay, so guys, Britt, my social media friend, asked about the fucking babies on the bed, bro. And she made a response video. What the hell is that on your bed? Facts. 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 The monkey dolls. Let's get into it. So as I briefly mentioned in my last video, my daughters were born um, when I was only 29 weeks pregnant. So they spent roughly the first three months of their life in the NICU. And this was in 2021 where COVID protocols were still very strict. So the only visitors that were allowed to meet and see my daughters were myself and their father. Nobody else was allowed to come visit them. And my mother did not handle this very well. Um, and so she ended up going online and searching for reborn dolls. What? To purchase, to cope with not being able to meet her twin granddaughters. Now, why are they monkeys? Yeah. In her words, well... They're half Mexican, so I figured if I got monkey dolls, they would look more like your daughters. And see, this be that dumb ignorant shit. Because if I were to tell her mom to her face, that's racist, she'd be like, what do you mean? What do you mean? I'm not racist. I'm not racist. My, my best friends are black. <laughs> and during this very stressful time for me, not knowing if my daughters were even gonna make it or not, I was also dealing with my mother texting calling or facetiming me every hour on the hour wanting to see and hear updates regarding the babies if i ever did not respond promptly enough my father would then start reaching out to me saying please respond to your mom please send her a picture please send her a video please answer her facetimes she won't get out of bed she's so distressed that she hasn't seen the babies in over an hour she won't eat like please please answer your mom so eventually she ended up getting these dolls. And according to my dad, she slept with them. She would carry them around the house. So she would cuddle with them while she watched TV. And she would call them my daughter's names. Like she named them after my daughters. So that photo that I used in um, the first video was a photo taken of her while my daughters were still in the NICU. When my babies finally got to come home from the hospital, my mother brought the baby monkey dolls to my house as a welcome home gift to my daughter. She said at this point, they can just have them, and as they grow up, they can play with them. I immediately hid them in the closet because, uh, no thanks, those are creepy. Here is a better view of... Oh, my God. Jesus! Like. Jesus! Jesus! They have hands for feet. <laughs> Yo. Now I've heard of like, um, like sometimes when a mother has their babies like die on them, like they pass away. Sometimes to cope with it, they buy like these like dolls to help cope with the loss of their child. I've heard something like that, but I've never heard of like someone's mother like dealing with it so badly that she had to buy her own kids from her because of her daughter's kids not being there. I've never heard of that, bro. Never mind, guys, I was doing some digging, and it says here, research suggests that grandparents experience both physical and psychological effects of grief following the death of a grandchild, describing symptoms ranging from disbelief to somatic symptoms, anxiety, depression, and thoughts of unaliving. Grandparents experience grief in relation to the loss of not only their grandchild, but also in relation to their child's grief, and the grief at, at the changes these losses bring to behaviors, connection, family dynamics, and functioning. Interesting. It sounds like to me the mom went into severe panic because she thought the kids weren't going to make it. So then she bought the fucking dolls to cope, which which is kind of sad, y'all. Doesn't mean she should have fucked her husband, but that is sad as fuck. <laughs> My Mexican jaw dropped all the way to the floor. <laughs> 
I'm half Mexican and half white. And if I ever found out a relative bought me monkey dolls that resemble me, oh my god, look at the face. <laughs> for real. <laughs> I hope in your divorce settlement that your ex has to pay your therapy for life. This is crazy. Bro, I know. For real, for real. The way I clutch my pearls, and I don't even have no pearls. <laughs> So guys, she dropped a story on how she found out that her mom was sleeping with her husband. So how did I find out that my husband was sleeping with my mom? If you are one of the millions of people that have commented this on my videos, this is the video that's going to answer know. that. This is a really long story, so hopefully I can get all of this in one video. But she doesn't, so I'm going to help out in parts to speed this up. Okay, so first I should probably talk about some of the red flags that I saw before I actually definitively found out that the affair was happening. Okay. So one thing that kind of shifted and changed in their behavior was that when they would greet each other hello or say goodbye, instead of it being like a side, like pat, 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 like hello, goodbye, she would like wrap her arms around his neck and he would like swing her around in a circle to like say hello. Mm. He also started giving my mom foot rubs. What the fuck? In front of me. On Valentine's Day, two days before I found out about the affair, he brought home flowers for me and for my mom. The hugging I would kind of look over, but the foot rubs is crazy. Were you getting foot rubs? <laughs> I don't know. Hey, anyone watching this, if your husband was giving your mom foot rubs, would you think that was weird? Her last red flag was that people in her life kept bringing up the story that she heard her mom and her husband say. And basically, they were going around saying that if her dad died, and then if she died, they would definitely get together. Which is crazy. Why y'all even talking like that? Some people ask, why'd you even stay this long if you knew this information? I would have been out. She said, I don't know. I was in denial. I really just, I just didn't know how to process the information. So my grandmother came to me, and she had expressed that she had witnessed some odd behavior between my mother and my husband. She asked her grandmother if she should confront them. Grandma told her to wait because eventually the truth will come out. And it didn't take long because the next day her husband fucked up. He's an Uber driver. So she always knew what time to make dinner because he told her what time he's coming home. But one day he was out way later. So she FaceTimed him. Specifically, I FaceTimed him. So he answered and I asked him what time he thought he would be home and if I needed to have dinner ready for him or if I could just go to bed. He had expressed that he had lost track of time and didn't realize how late it had gotten and that he would be heading home soon. Um, he said, don't worry about dinner. I'll just hit a drive through on the way home. Now, as he's talking, I'm paying attention to the background. He's in his car, but he's parked. Um, and I notice out his driver side window, the buildings behind him. And I realize that I recognize them. But I recognize them as being in the city we live in not the city that he says he was in. So I go, hey, I thought you said you were in the city. And he's like, oh yeah, I am. So I should be home in about 20 minutes. And I go, no, you're not. I can see that building behind you and you're in this city that we live in. And his face goes white. And so we go back and forth arguing about where he is or where he isn't. And finally he admits that he's exactly where I said he was. And I go, why are you lying? This is so weird. Like, wh what's going on? And then all of a sudden, I can't make out what was said, but I could hear a woman's voice. And he turns over to his passenger seat as if listening to that voice speaking. And I go, who are you with? And he says, I'm not with anyone. And I say, I just heard someone talk. Who are you with? And he hung up on me. Okay, Loki, if that was me, that would prove it to me enough. Like, I know some weird shit's going on. No different, like, if I ask to see your phone and you snatch your phone when I try to pick it up, yeah, that's weird. There's some weird shit there. After he hangs up on her, she keeps blowing up his phone. At one point, he answers and gaslights the shit out of her, said there's no girl around, he's by himself, there's nothing to worry about, I'll be home soon, hangs up on her again. But Kat was sure. She's like, no, I'm sure something weird is going on. He's having an affair. Is it someone else? Is it, is it my mother? So then she calls her sister. Ask her if our mom is home. And she goes, uh, I, I don't know, I'm in bed. Like, it's late at night, what's going on? Are you okay? Are the babies okay? And I said, I really just need you to do me a favor and find out if mom is home. And she goes, why, what's going on? And I say, sister, I really need you to go find out if mom is home. And she goes, okay. I don't want to keep this from you. 
Your husband came by earlier tonight and picked mom up to take her door dashing with him and they told me not to tell you. And that confirms that I was right, that they were together. So I, again, I'm just, I'm hysterical and I'm crying and I'm telling my sister, they're having an affair, sister, they're having an affair. And of course she goes, what? No, they're not. They would never do that. Catherine, like, no, don't think that way. They love you. That's our mom. That's your husband. Like, no, no, no. It's just, it's just a misunderstanding. Because of course you don't want to believe that that's actually really happening. But I knew. I knew that I was right. Because of my little sister, I finally had my 100% guarantee I knew they were together. So after this, she blows up her mom's phone because she knows she's over there in that car. The mom picks up and she's like, what do you want? She's like, you know what? The mom was like, I'm with your husband because I was having a bad day. Which is a dumb lie because you're in the car watching her husband lie to her. And you told the sister not to tell her. What the fuck? So Kat knew something was up. She said, hand the phone to my husband. She does that and says, hey, we're going to have a chat. So come home, both of you. We're going to have a chat. Let's get have a chat. So eventually they got to the house and when they walked in, they tried to come hug me. Oh! I told them, do not fucking touch me. And I looked both of them dead in their eyes and I said, are you two fucking each other? Without even so much as moving a muscle in his face, my husband looks at me and says, no. And my mother says, I would never cross that boundary. Oh my God. But of course I knew the truth. I knew, even without them admitting it, I knew. So I ended up telling my mom to get the hell out of my house. Yep. Um, and I went to bed. I didn't sleep, but I went to bed. I wouldn't sleep. It was not until the next day that they finally decided to come clean and admit that they were in fact having an affair. Bro, could you imagine your own mother looking you dead in your eyes? Saying, I would never do that to you. You're my baby. I love you. I would never betray your trust in your eyes. My mom was a great mom, so I cannot relate. But oh my God, if that happened to me, I think I would have major trust issues with everyone. I don't think I could trust anybody. And it's more fucked up for Kat because her birth mom and her birth dad both was like, you're a bad person. This is your fault. I'm so sorry, Kat. This is fuck, bro. Oh, my. I'm so sorry, Kat. I'm glad you let all of them go. And I hope, like, God just gives you the strength to keep going. Because this is... Just, ugh, fuck that. Actually, I can look at your eyes. You is a buff. You got buff energy. So I think you're going to be okay. But damn, that's fucked up. I'm so sorry, Kat. I'm sending you energy. Okay, guys. The story ends here. As I always say, whew, what do you think about this? Guys, we are becoming a problem. 1.5 mil? And Facebook kept banning us, so we made a YouTube. We kept putting in the work, and now we're getting a play button, y'all. We about to get a play button. Now, as I told you guys, I'm really a music artist. I love making music, but I make all these videos because you like them. So can you please follow the page for me? Now, outside of all this, remember, dead gang, it was just you, and you had a plan. You have come too far to end it right here. Did you forget all that work you just put in? I know you're discouraged, but you are close. We get one life, and on dead in them, we ain't going out like no weak motherfucker. If they want us out the game, they're gonna have to take it from us. So when this video goes off, don't forget to pop your shit, star. I would have done anything, all you had to do was ask And all of the damage is done, I can't imagine ever taking you back Is it that hard to keep it a stack, cause all of your promises looking like cap Cause when I was calling your phone, I already knew where you at <laughs> I tried to give you a chance, while you doing me dirty I thought you'd be the last one to hurt me Till you put a knife in my back, you cannot say I didn't love you to death Baby, I knew you was bad for my health, but I thought I was covered by reinsurance That you would give me, it kills me to know that I would give a kidney if you got sick Just to find out what you really had wanted on all this time you were hitting a lick Don't try to tell me I'm misunderstanding You know I don't I like to be gaslit This ain't the first time you ever did fraud It's just the first time that you got caught Man